So welcome back to another episode of Life of a Videographer. So, real quick, I just want to jump in. So, cops was called to a scene uh, we were doing in South Philly. You know, the director and the prop master, you know, set up a a scene. I mean, it, it was believable for several different reasons, but, you know, so we're there and uh, I was a cameraman and, and I tell you, man, I, I look around like, this ain't going to end well. It's not going to end well, but, you know, it's someone else's set. It's the director. Um, I'm a cameraman. I'm just really starting out, uh, you know, doing movie production. So I didn't want to spoil it. You know, I'm like, okay, well, if that's what you need to do, go ahead and do it. But I ain't going to be nowhere around. You can say what you want. So what had happened was we're on the scene and we're doing the blocking. Uh, we got a prop master there and, uh, you know, he has the prop guns. I mean, some real nice looking prop guns. I mean, to the fact where as though they actually you know, made the sound pow, 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 like a real gun. So I'm like, yo, what's going on? Like, I mean, why do we have to, you know, use the actual sound? I, you know, I can see using a gun. That's enough. And I, you know, I've been on the set myself where so I pull a gun out, you know, I look around, make sure, you know, I ain't no witnesses, but there has been cases where, you know, I didn't check thoroughly. Uh, we'll talk about that in another episode, but, um, yeah, the cops was also called corporate was called. We was inside a building. And again, let me get back to this story. So we're outside in South Philly and we're shooting a scene. Uh, there's kids around and he's blocking the actors, telling the actors, when you hear the first shot, you drop. When you hear the second shot, you drop. And then third shot, you drop. So I'm like, still and yet, why do we need to have the sound. I mean, you can say actor one, drop, actor, actor two, drop, um, actor three, drop, and you know, I get the job done. No, he said he wanted to be as real as possible. So again, I'm the cameraman. I'm like, I, I don't want no parts of it, man. You know, I got stuff in my car and put myself out there. I don't want to get pulled over, but I got things in my car that I'm like, you know, they might look at me a little funny if they have to go through my car. My car is sitting right next to the scene. So I'm like, I'm getting in my car. You can take this camera. You can shoot the scene. Wait until I leave this parking lot, leave this area, and I'll be back, you know. And he's like, okay, well, you don't want to shoot? I got it. Took the camera. I get in my car, and as I'm pulling out of this parking lot, I hear the shots. Pow, pow, pow. I'm like, shit. So I don't know. I doubt if anyone called, but it must have been a cop going past because shot right down there, shoot, lights on. I'm like, oh Lord, it's already started. I ain't even leave the parking lot. Hopefully there's not another cop coming in because he's gonna think I'm leaving the scene of a crime. I'm like, so luckily they left me alone. I got out of there, parked my car, and I felt like I did do a crime because I went back over there. You know how people say they come back to the scene of crime, and I'm looking in the crowd like, what is the cops going to do? The only real concerns for me was, this is my equipment. So if, you know, they claim they're going to take it, you know, I was going to run out with that freedom of the press thing, and, you know, we're on the set. You're not getting my camera. I don't care what. You know, you get your court order, you can have it. But um, you're not getting my camera. You're not getting what's in this camera. You're not getting the footage. None of that. You, you're just going to have to take me to jail, and if I find out you... Uh, looked at the footage is going to be a problem. You know what I mean? Um, so this is my mindset anyway. I didn't say all that. So I'm like, I wonder how you're going to get out of this. So what they did, and, you know, about three cops showed up. And I guess after that, they put it out. It was a false alarm. But Oh, I forgot to mention, too. They did. I, I said, well, at least tell the people here that's, you know, it's kids around and it's other people doing other stuff here and, Please, at least let them know that they hear gunshots. It's not real. I ain't want nobody running off and getting hurt. You know what I'm saying? They're kids. And, you know, I didn't want them, you know, just going home having nightmares because I know that happened to me. And this is real stuff in the streets of Philly where, you know, you hear them gunshots and you look somebody down and that, that can play well off your mind, man. It can make you not, you know, uh, want to walk the streets. But, you know, that was my mindset. I was like, just, just let the kids and everybody know, you know, 
um, that they're going to hear the shot. So the director went over, he talked to just about everybody in the area. But anyway, back to the story. So I'm like, yo, all right, what is he going to tell the cops in order to get out of this? And I'm like, you know, they, they're not like trying to force him to give up the camera. You know, wait, I'm working. Darn dog over there scratching the door. Um, you thank God she don't really, it's, it's glass and she don't, she don't mess it up. She's a good girl. But anyway, I'm in, in Cosmo, chill out for real. You were just outside. I let you out before I started. So matter of fact, go to your cage cage. Now I'm working. All right. So sorry about that y'all. So I'm like, yo, what, what, you know, how's he going to get out of this? But I'm also watching to make sure that my equipment isn't going to get, you know, or the cops not going to try to take my equipment for evidence or whatever. And, you know, he explained, he said, well, we're here doing a, a little short, you know, movie documentary. You know, I always put that out there, documentary. Chances are, you know, they ain't going to bother you so much. But, you know, without having a permit, you know, normally they'll say, all right, go ahead, get that done, get out of here. You know, um, if there's anything, you know, you didn't get, you just won't have to deal with it. You know, they'll push you off the scene. Been there, done that. So, again, that's some advice for you. You know, I ain't saying it's working. Don't don't hold me to this because you know it, it can it can uh, it can it can balance out well, or it can it can it can be a failure. But and even with this, you know, freedom of the press thing, you know, depending on the situation, you know, um, this is what I would do. I'm not telling you to do that, <laughs> please. <laughs> Again, don't 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 hold me to it. Um, you know, uh, and so back to the story. So. What they told the uh, officers on the scene was that, yeah, it was some shots, but it came out of this big speaker here, and we didn't think it was going to bother anybody. So I'm listening, and the cops like, "Well, you know, you know, he pull directs his side. Listen, man, you know, boop boop, y'all got to pack up, y'all got to go." And we like, okay, well, you know, no problem, officer. You know, we out of here. So thank God he saved it for the last scene. But at the same time, man, that, that was scary, bro. But there's another one. Like I said, it's quite a few times when they deal with that pew pew. Y'all got to be careful out there, man. Them cops will roll up on you. So if you're not inside and you're outside doing a scene like that, you know, one or two things. If anyone's standing around, let them know, man, listen, we ready to do the scene. Because people don't see the camera. They, they really don't. Because... What people look for, especially like even myself, if I'm in the streets, I see that thing come out. You know what I'm saying? I'm on something different. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not looking to see if there's a cameraman. Even if there is a cameraman, I don't know if he can really shoot the cameraman. So be careful out there, y'all. I mean, the best way to do it, so you don't have to worry about those, is just get a permit. You know, it only costs a few dollars, especially in Philadelphia. A lot of people don't know that, but Philadelphia is 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 uh pretty pretty decent, and you know, I'm not gonna say cheap, but because I don't want to call anything about my city cheap, but it, it's a fair price. I mean, that's why a lot of big Hollywood movies come to Philadelphia to shoot, even if they need a New York scene. And there's a couple movies. Matter of fact, I'm gonna dig out a couple movies uh, in some of these episodes on where I noticed they were doing a Philly scene was. You know, um, well, they were doing a New York scene that was actually a fully a Philadelphia scene. Let me say that. But a lot of movies are made in Philadelphia because the cost of the permits. Uh, you go to California, try to stand on the corner and do something and post that. Guess what? You might have people not going to take that down. You didn't order a permit. You didn't da da da. California, Hollywood, they don't play. You know what I'm saying? You might get away with it, but it, it's a little tricky. So be Know your surroundings, know your laws um, when you're out here shooting. I'm not discouraging you. I'm just trying to give you some heads up so, you know, you don't have those headaches. So plan out the shots. Indoors, do whatever. I mean, I wouldn't even use the sound of the pew pew. And if you needed to have the actors, again, like I said, you know, drop on call, you know, you could have blew a whistle. Boop, boop, boop. You know what I'm saying? But... That's just how I would have did it. You know, you can't take control of other people's sets. So we up on 10 minutes again, y'all. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Remember, 
capture those moments and do the best with what you have until the next video y'all peace